Okay. All right. Can everyone see this now? Yes, it looks great. Okay. So this first artist, his name is John Mall, and he's 68. He lives in California, and he has developmental disabilities. Um, his work has been shown in galleries both in California and in New York, and he likes to use mixed media. Does anyone know what that means? So that means that he... Means Oh. Go ahead, Suzanne. You're right on the button. Mike. So I think it's like it's different types of um, ways to create art. So it might mix paint and string or, or different kinds of things mm -hmm. that people use. Right. And so that right? He, that's correct. So he likes to use um, lots of different kinds of paint. He likes to use pencils and he likes to use ink. So pens. Um, and he, his work really focuses on nature, so lots of kind of flowers and trees. So let's look at some of his things. Okay, so this is one of his works. How, so how, how does this make you feel, looking at this piece? Anybody? Happy and it makes me think of spring. Yeah, exactly. That's what I think so too. Do you like these colors? It makes me think of being out in the woods. Yeah, yeah. In the forest. Okay, so. Then there's these two pieces, right? So this is a little bit different. Did these, did this make you feel different than the first? These two make you feel different than the first? Yes. So what, why is, why do you think that is? The colors maybe? Yeah. Less color. Less color, right? Yeah, they're a little dark. Colors. Yep, they're a little darker, aren't they? Yeah. Um, maybe it's white. Okay, and so then, <laughs> then here's another one, and this is different too, right? How do you, why do you think he used words in this one, right? He has words and pictures. He might be naming the flowers after people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, that's true. So, and you, that's the whole thing with art, right? You just don't know. You, what is the artist thinking? We don't always know, but sometimes we know what we like, right? Right. And then this is different too, right? To me, this, what, is it, what does it look like here? What, is he, what do you think he did with this? Can you tell? So I, it looks to me like he I'm painted some, yeah, he painted it and then he wiped it off and then he wrote on top of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so I think that's very interesting. So they're very different pieces that he did, but they all make you feel different things, I think. And I also like this last one because he has different layers, right? You can tell he did one layer, another layer, and another layer. So he stacks things on top of each other. Okay, so our next artist, her name is Judith Scott. And she is actually a world famous sculptor who worked with fabric. Um, her work is owned by many museums, including the Museum of Modern Art in New York, the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art, as well as museums all over the world, like France, Switzerland, and Ireland. Um, she had Down syndrome and she died in 2005 at the age of 61. And can you tell how she likes to wrap everything in fabric, including her head? Almost every picture I saw of her, she had something wrapped around her head. She really likes fabric. <laughs> Okay, so this is the first piece. So what is, what is, how does this feel to you? What do you think um, this is made from? What do you tell? It looks like something soft. Yeah, so to me it looks like a, like a sweater, right, or a scarf, right? That she, she has that yarn feel to it. Yeah. Okay, then we're going to go on to the next piece. Two it pieces. could have been put on a hanger as well, wrapped yeah. in a, around a hanger. So right, so these two are these two are, are different pieces. So the one on the left, what what can you see in that picture? A yeah, bicycle like a wheel. Chair, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and it's maybe in the shape of a chair. Yeah, so I think I think it's actually is a chair. It's a chair and a bicycle, and then so she's, it's a wheelchair. Yeah, <laughs> it's almost a wheelchair. <laughs> it is a wheelchair, isn't it? Maybe that's her yeah. statement. But and there's yeah. there's. Maybe it's, a chair wheel. Mm -hmm. And there's lots of different kinds of fabric and material in that, isn't there? Not just the yarn. Um, and then the picture on the right, what do you see in that one? What does she use? Can you tell it all? What does it look like it might be? Some kind of string or ribbon? Yeah, it looks like string to me. I don't know what she wrapped it around. To me, it reminds me of a pencil sharpener like you'd see in school. I don't know if that's what it is. It just I just think the shape is very interesting. But these are two very different looking pieces, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Okay. But you know what this reminds me of? What? Not not this. Not the chair. I'm not the chair. I'm talking about the legs. Mm -hmm. Okay. They kind of remind me of a pinata. They do. You're right. Pinata. Right. Yeah. Oh, pinata. Yeah, and right, and pinatas are also wrapped, right? But they're and they're wrapped with paper. 
Okay, so these are some of our other pieces. I put this in wow. so you could see how big they are. Right? You have this man in the back and look how large her pieces are. What did what did what do you do these remind you of anything? I think a lot of her things remind me of, you know how a caterpillar wraps itself um in in silk, right? And then it becomes a butterfly. And that's what these are beautiful. Yes, and that's what these remind me of. They're things that are wrapped up that could then just explode into something beautiful. The um, one in the front looks like someone doing yoga to me. Like they're laying down and they're reaching back and pulling their leg. That's what that looks like to me. It looks like a person stretching. Yeah. Right. So I just, I'm much more flexible than me, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, and then, then this last piece. Um, so this piece, I think, has lots of color, right? Just lots of different color, lots of different fabric she uses, and then different things. And do you think that you could find things around your house to try and kind of recreate your own sculpture in the way that Judith did? Yeah. Right? I mean, she has like sticks, right? They look like sticks in there to me. And then I think she has torn fabric, and then there's some string, um, and then she just wraps it into a shape that that you know expresses what she's feeling. Is that something you could do at home? Like a horse. Yeah. Think yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So the next one, this is Tommy Hollenstein. And he creates, he's a quadriplegic, and he uses his wheelchair, the wheels, to create his artwork. Mm. Um, and he's, he, lots of people collect his paintings, including Ringo Starr and Elton John. And he often donates his work to organizations to raise funds for charities. And his, his what he, you know, so our first person, right, he used different kinds of paint and, and pen and ink, pencil. And then Judith uses fabric and found objects. And then he uses bare paint. So house paint is what he uses in his work. Oh, wow. So this is the first piece. Um, so in this one, can you see the treads from the tire wheel in this one? Right? So you, yeah. you, you kind of know what beautiful. this beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? I um, mean, how does this make you feel, this piece? How does it make you feel? It's not good. You don't say no. It makes you feel, it makes you feel excited. It is, right? It is. It's, there's a lot of energy in it, isn't there? It yeah. Makes yes. me happy. Yeah, it makes you happy. Exactly. I think there's just a lot of joy kind so, of in the way he did this. Yeah. And it also reminds me of when I used to volunteer hmm. at Art and Drama. Right, exactly. So some different arts that people did. So here are two different pieces that he did. Um, this is pretty. And I... The, the one the one on the right to me reminds have you ever seen when people um do they they you see light in the dark but they do it in slow motion so you can kind of see the residual light as it moves through the space that's what the one on the right reminds me of um now the one on the left right we don't see as much of the tread on this one do we no right so he uses probably what do you think he uses a different tire maybe when he does this piece yeah. So almost like changing out paintbrushes, right? He's probably changing out. Yeah. What's on his is, he, is he in his wheelchair when he's doing this, or is he just using the chair? Well, he, has, he can't be. Yeah, he's in the wheelchair. So he's any quadriplegic? Quadriplegic. So originally he started to paint using a paintbrush with his mouth, but he didn't like that. And so this almost happened by accident with him. Um, with it, it was, it was, it, what happened was his dog walked through the paint. He has a service dog. <laughs> And he liked how that looked, and so then he tried it with the wheelchair, and then he was inspired. So. Well, and, and so what he's able to do somehow is to start in the middle of the, of the painting, right? So it's not like, right. it makes me wonder how he does it, because it's just. I'm guessing he might have an one, aid one. that helps him, and I then maybe you put some on the wheel, right? And you, uh, you put it on, and then you wipe it off. Um, yeah. Wow. And then you let probably let it dry, right? So it's probably a very kind of longer process. Now this one, um, what is what does this look like to you? What is this? It looks like a beach to me. Yeah. Or like water and waves and the sun. Right. That's what I feel like it is too. I thought it too. The waves. So you can tell he he's a Californian, and this is what he yeah. this is where he lives, right? This California. is his environment. 
So. You like California, right, Ryan? Yes, I love it. <laughs> I love California. Okay. And in Faith and Friends, we used to always look at a picture of the water in California, right? Okay. So the ocean. Yeah. So here's here's another version of that, right? But what is this song? Can you tell what he painted on? Skateboard. A skateboard, right? Isn't that that's kind of an unusual thing, right? So he created art on a skateboard, and I'm guessing I didn't see this, but that he probably donated this and it was auctioned, is my guess. Um, but it's very similar, right? You have the wave, right, going along the top, and then you have the sun. Looks like you could be on a bandaid, also. Yeah, yeah, it does look <laughs> like a bandaid. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go on to our last artist, and his name is Stephen Wiltshire. And Stephen is art an artistic artist, and he draws very detailed and accurate cityscapes. And he just, from a quick view, um, he's sometimes called a human camera. Um, he's 46 years old, and he lives in Britain, and he was recognized by the Queen for his talent and his achievements. So he's very, very famous there. Okay, so this is his first picture, right? Um, so with this, can you tell what he used to create his work? Can you tell what his medium is? Like we had other people use paint. What do you think he uses here? Pencil. Yeah, pencil or ink, right? Yes. And do you think if you if you lived in the city, you would recognize it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, right. It, it's very very detailed. Okay. Okay. Can you imagine if we live when we? Can you imagine if we all lived in England? <laughs> We'd, be be in lockdown. We'd be in lockdown no, right now. We'd be in lockdown. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. We'd be on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in this picture, do you guys? Do, does anyone know what the structure is on the left? Yes, that's um, that's the White House. Mm -hmm. no, 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 not the right. You said the left. Oh, left. Oh, that's the Eiffel Tower. Very good. Yeah, that oh, is that's the Eiffel Tower, very right? Good. So we're talking Paris. And then the one on the right, um, does that look like to you almost like a black and white photograph? Mm -hmm. If you look at yes. look at the, the columns, don't you feel like you could just touch them with the texture? Yep. And don't, do you feel like you're standing down below it and it's towering over you? Or like if you touch the picture, you would feel the rays, yeah. like column. Yeah. It looks really detailed, yeah. Yeah. So I just think it's, yeah. he's just amazing, right? And the perspective that he gets, you're right there in the moment. So you can see why he can be called a human camera. Okay. And so what's different about this than from the other ones? That's a bridge. It's a bridge. He also has some color, some color that's not black or white. Right. There's a little color in it too. And so what do you, to what time of day do you think this is? What would you think? Do you think it's Sunday? Sunday. So to me, it looks like it's either the sun is coming up or more likely the sun is setting. Doesn't it have the feel of the, the night's just starting and the lights are coming on on the bridge? Yeah. yeah. And then here's his last one. So this this is a picture of London and the Thames. Um, and um, do you think you could ever create something this detail? I know I couldn't. No, no. My goodness. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. Jennifer, did, did you read anything about how he works? Does he take a photo? And no, it's, it's literally, he can see anything just very quickly and wow. he can immediately recreate it. So the, I've seen pictures of him where he's in front of a really large can like paper that's almost like curved, probably like 10 feet long. And he'll look at like, look out the window of like, a, like in my way where I am, my apartment, I can see the Washington Monument from here, right? I can see the whole cityscape. He could look at that very quickly. He puts on his headphones, right? And then he just draws across it and draws the whole thing. So he's pretty amazing. So he ever say how long it takes him to do so? I didn't. I didn't read how long it takes him to do it, but I. I think he's pretty quick, considering the detail that he does. So maybe he could come to your house, and by the time dinner's over, you could have the whole yes. view out your window. That's right. Right. 
Exactly. Like he has a photogenic memory too. Yes. He looks at it and remembers the, the details, just like that. Just like that. Wow. That's and here it looks like he's got a little green in a few places. Yeah, a little green, pretty... a little bit of blue, I think, in the water too, just a little bit. But really, he works a lot in black and white. So I will stop this.